hello guys welcome back to this channel on today's video we'll see how to determine the discharge in a pipe network we'll use the hardy cross method so the problem uh, given bill given is we have pipe network that have five pipes flow is introduced in one node and flow water is uh, withdrawn at other two nodes we are given with the length and diameter of each pipe so first let's see the steps uh, to solve this problem so using hardy cross method water is supplied and withdrawn from each junction so water can only be supplied and water can be only withdrawn from junction and discharge entering the system must be equal to discharge leaving the system so if you have say this node is 63 liter per second then the discharge leaving this node must also be also 63 liter per second we'll see later on how to assume discharge for each pipe network since we have a long pipe network minor losses are neglected for any closed loop for any closed loop the sum of head loss must also be zero so the sum of head loss due to friction must also be zero regarding flow direction clockwise flows are assumed to be positive and counterclockwise flows are considered to be negative so using hardy close method we have to first determine the correction the discharge correction this discharge correction or flow rate correction is given by this equation it is the ratio of the summation of head load due to friction to that of 1.85 times the summation of the ratio of head load due to friction to that of discharge and once we do the iteration the iteration will convert to zero or the, we stop the iteration when the summation of head load due to friction is approximately to zero so the other aspect is if you have a common pipe say this pipe 2 is common for both loop 1 and loop 2 so in such a case for pipes in common loops receive a correction and this correction is applied twice first the first correction is is given by correction one for the first loop minus correction two for the second loop and for the second loop the correction will be correction two minus correction one so let's try to solve this problem so first step will be to calculate the head loss due to friction the head loss due to friction can be calculated using William Hess equation so we are given with the constant or the factor which is 100 the discharge in liter per second we have to do is simply insert the length and the diameter to calculate the factor k so k will be given by this expression this expression is 6.02 times 10 raised to minus 9 multiplied by the length for each pipe and the diameter corresponding to that uh, pipe so let's construct the table and try to uh, calculate the discharge so the first step is to calculate this k value so as i said before this k value is given by this expression so you have to do is simply substitute the length and diameter so we have calculated the k factor the next thing is to calculate the discharge or sorry to assume the discharge so we have four nodes or junction a b c and d notice that flow is supplied to junction a hence we have to assume the discharge in pipe one and three so we have assumed the discharge at pipe one to be 24 and pipe three to be 39 notice that the flow entering the junction must be equal to the flow leaving the junction so flow entering the junction a is 63 liter per second the flow leaving the junction is 24 plus 39 it is 63 liter per second hence it is balanced next we proceed to junction b or node b notice that at, at node b flow entering is 24 hence the flow leaving will be 11.4 plus 12.6 at junction c the flow leaving is 25.2 and 25.2 
and the flow entering the junction will be the summation of 39 entering 39 plus 11.4 finally the flow at junction D will be the flow leaving is 37.8 and the flow entering the junction will be 25.2 hence the flow the other flow in the pipe BD will be 12.6 so we have all assumed the flow for each and every pipe notice that the flow direction for clockwise is positive and counterclockwise flows are negative next is to calculate the head loss due to friction the head loss due to friction is given by k times q to the power of negative q to the power of 1.85 so we have calculated the head loss due to friction next is to uh, find the ratio of head loss to that of discharge simply divide this column by the previous column so we have this values so the summation of head loss will be 0 0.27 and 0 0.63 similarly we have calculated the summation of head loss for loop 2 and the summation of HF2Q for loop 2 next is to calculate the correction notice that first we have to calculate the correction for loop 1 and loop 2 for each and every pipe except pipe 2 so first we'll calculate the correction for pipe 1 and 3 4 and 5 so that will be minus the summation of head loss divided by 1.85 times the summation of head loss to that of discharge so finally delta q delta q the correction for loop 1 will be correction for loop 1 minus that of loop 2 and the correction for loop 2 will be uh, loop 2 minus loop 1 for pipe 2 so once we have the correction then it is then the next step is to calculate the corrected discharge the corrected discharge is simply the old discharge plus the correction so this will be the adjusted discharge notice that the summation of hair loss still do not approximate zero hence we have to further do another iteration so for the second iteration the assumed discharge will be the adjusted discharge from the previous iteration hence we have this discharge similarly we calculate the hair loss and the ratio of hair loss to that of discharge as in the case of the previous iteration then we calculate the correction for every pipe except pipe 2 then we'll calculate the correction for pipe 2 finally we'll calculate the cal uh, sorry calculate or estimate the adjusted discharge so as you can see the summation of head loss approximates to zero hence this will be the final discharge this will be the final discharge for every pipe so thanks guys for watching this video i'll see you in the next video thanks